I'm Laura. And I'm Jack. And welcome to Bike Club, the show that takes a look at scenes from famous movies and asks the question, hmm, I wonder what that tastes like. And then we show you guys how to recreate that at home. <laughs> Today we're looking at a classic from 1979. It's Alien. We're going to be sh... <laughs> Enjoy the show. Our first dish for Alien is Alien Eggs. And we've chosen to do this because in the scene where John Hurt's character Kane goes discovering underneath the blue light and finds an alien egg that looks quite a lot like an avocado, only they're much bigger. And then, as you'll see in our later dish, something bad goes on. Something goes terribly wrong. Oh yes. First of all, we're going to tea stain our eggs so that it's all crackled and gives it like a marbled alien effect. Hard boil your eggs for about nine minutes and then leave them to cool, crack them all over and let them simmer in a really strong tea mixture for about two hours and then you want to peel off the shell when they're cool and they should look a little bit like this. Oh, it's an alien egg. Get it away. You brought that into the kitchen. We're all, we're all dead. The crew's dead. You killed all the crew. Nah, it's just a normal egg and tea. To accompany our alien eggs, we're going to be doing some chicken and some streaky bacon. And we're going to put this in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius so the bacon's really crispy and the chicken's cooked through thoroughly. Now we want to chop our tomatoes, so dice it, but making sure that you've taken out the middle or the seeds or the, or the wet stuff. I'm going to do the avocado, cut it as a cross at the top, open it up and carefully scoop the stone out of the middle and then kind of hollow out the top here. And there you go. How are you getting on with your tomatoes? I'm slicing them, dicing them. They look neat. Shall I do these to help you? Yeah, go ahead. So I only saw Alien quite recently, actually. The film, at the beginning, is very, very slow. And that's not a bad thing. The film is very, very good at building the tension up to the main point which everyone knows, which is the big chest burster. And it's aged so well. 1979, and it's 2013 now, and it look, still looks great. Up until the part where it scuttles away, and then it looks really cheesy and lame. Now the chicken and the streaky bacon has come out of the oven, what we want to do is get your streaky bacon and add it with some breadcrumbs into a mini blender, and then blend it until a fine crumb. Brilliant. We're going to put the crumbs onto a roasting tray and roast them for about 10 minutes until they're really nice and crispy. Oven? Oven. Really nice. While the bread crumbs are in the oven, what we're going to do is put the eggs into our avocado. So do you want to try one, Jack? The eggs in the eggs. Basically, you just don't want to tear the avocado. It's going to be really gentle. And you want to put it with a shell. Shell downwards. Yes. Yeah. That looks great. I think it's time to get our bread crumbs out of the oven. Okay. Jack, if you could squeeze me some of the lemons and add a little bit of olive oil, we're going to make a juice. I've never in my life eaten an alien egg. You've led a sheltered life. Have you? No, no, I haven't. You don't mind a bit of pips, do you? No. Oh, I love pips. Very cool. So, yes, all that's left to do now is uh, tuck in. Where are you going? I'm just going to go over here for a bit. Just a garnish of atmosphere. Oh, it's amazing. Do you want to eat it from down there? Yeah, sure. Feed it to me like a little baby eagle. OK. I have to flap my wings as well. Ah! Mm. Oh, it's good. Mm. I'm going to move the dry ice now. What you could do with this dish is put it on top of a jelly that's been mixed with an Indian tonic water so that when it's held under a black light, it glows in the dark and then it looks like the movie. It's all atmospheric. Look at that. It's good, isn't it? How's it with the egg? Mm. Oh, I think it's the best. Mm. The crunchiness the of crunchiness that? The crunchiness with the bacon yeah. is really nice and smoky. Mm -hmm. I think it adds like a really cool texture. This would be um, a great dish for like a a kid's party. <laughs> For the kids that have seen Alien that shouldn't have seen Alien, you shouldn't see Alien if you're a kid. Mm. Oh, I really Scary. like this dish. Mm -hmm. I really like it. I really like these crumbs. We'll just feed you crumbs from now on then. Mm. It's excellent, this dish. <sighs> okay, let's crack on with the episode. Hello, and welcome to Film Corner. This is the part of the show where I tell you some facts about the film we're doing and make that joke every single week. This week, Alien. And my top five film facts are... Number one, the film was originally going to be called, apparently, Star Beast. I think this is because the film was coming off the back of Star Wars and the production company wanted to make a film that was like that. But then Ridley Scott came along and was like, no, let's make it more like this. Fact number two, the blue laser lights that are used in the egg chamber scene were apparently borrowed from The Who because they were rehearsing next door and they just took them. 
Can we use these? The who? Yeah, you can. Thanks, Ridley Scott. Fact number three. In order to make the location in the space jockey sequence seem really large, Ridley Scott used his two sons, his two little boys, to dress up as the characters to walk through it to make it seem massive in comparison. Camera tricks, but you can tell. If I, now that I've told you that, you won't be able to unnotice that. Fact number four is a food fact. Food fact. Forget I said that. The dead face hugger was made out of the ingredients fresh shellfish, four oysters, and a sheep kidney to recreate internal organs. Oh yes, one sheep's kidney. Why, why would, I mean, it might be true. Who knows? They do. I don't. And final fact number five. The chest buster sequence was apparently filmed in one take using four cameras. That's impressive. And in tribute to that, we're gonna recreate an edible version of it. Let's do that now. <laughs> This dish is a red velvet cake, strawberry jelly, and banana mess. Altogether, it does look a bit disgusting, but it tastes delicious. To make it, firstly what you need to do is follow the instructions on a jelly packet to make the jelly in a bowl. Let it set in the fridge for later. Laura? Preheat an oven to 180 degrees centigrade. Whisk the egg in a bowl for a minute. Add buttermilk, vinegar, vanilla, and sunflower oil. Dump the flour, sugar, cocoa, salt, and food colouring into the bowl and mix together. Whisk for a few minutes until combined and smooth. Pour into a lined baking tray. Bake in the oven for 25 minutes until risen and cooked. Pull the strawberries and chuck them into a food processor with the ice and sugar and add a squeeze of lemon juice. Strain through a sieve. Now all that's left to do is find a willing volunteer to serve your dish onto. Today we've enlisted our friend Mike. Thanks Mike. No problem. All that's left to do is assemble it. Basically right now we're gonna build up the fleshy base layer with a really nice bit of red velvet cake. Next up, we're gonna add some jelly. That's supposed to look a little bit like organs and blood. And I love that it's fruity as well. It just kind of, just so happy. Just happy It's a happy fruity. situation to be in. That's what this, get your hair in the jelly. What are you doing? Oh, did I get it in the jelly? It's just it's supposed to be there. That looks amazing. Should we just put a bit more of this flesh on top? Just to make it look like it's burst out over yeah. the top? And while you do that, I'm gonna get the Kool-Aid. So this is just blended up strawberries with a bit of icing sugar. So it's really, really easy to make, but it's very effective. John Hurt, eat your heart out. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mm, it's nice. The banana's good with the cake. Mmm, the cake's amazing. Mike? Let's just put a bit in there. There we there go. You go. That's fine. You all right? Mm. You okay, yeah. Mike? Mm. You'll be right. You okay, Mike? It'll get better soon. Let's give a bit to the alien. There you go. I think the alien wants a big banana. <laughs> <laughs> well. That's our show, folks. Delicious. <laughs> Join us next week when we're going to be looking at Man of Steel. Mm. Not going to be as gory as this, probably not. No, no. probably not. Oh.